Good morning, you two. Welcome to Wednesday's lesson for maths. I am so proud of all the hard work you are doing. You really are striving to be the best with your home learning. So keep up the fabulous work you are doing. Today in maths, we are going to be subtracting two digit numbers. So today you will need a pencil, your home learning book. If you can download the White Rose Hub template from either the White Rose Hub or Seesaw, that'd be brilliant. But if not, you'll be able to do everything that you need in your home learning book, so do not worry. You will also need your tens and ones template from your home learning folder. And there will be an opportunity to be using some practical resources, but this can be anything around your home to represent the tens and ones. Things like pencils, pasta, anything like um, spoons from your drawer. But there will be an opportunity for you to get those later in the lesson. So if you'd like to pause the video now and make sure that you've got everything that you need ready to go. Brilliant. OK, so for our mental math starter today, we are going to continue our work on odd and even numbers. So as you can see, I've shown the mnemicon from yesterday's lesson to help remind us of an odd and even number. So can you remember what an even number is? That's right. An even number is a multiple of two. So if we say when we are counting in twos, it is an even number. So anyone any number that ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in the 1s column. An odd number is not a multiple of 2. And as you can see on all the numbers here, they are not in a pair. They're not in a group of 2. So even here on number 3, it does have one group of 2, but then it has this one here, which is not in a group of 2. Same in number 5, 7, and nine, this is why all these numbers that are not a multiple of two are odd. OK, so for today's starter, we have got going to be focusing on odd numbers today. So numbers that are not a multiple of two. So ones like one, three, five, seven and nine. So for today's challenge, we have got a group of odd numbers in any order. Your challenge is to see if you can find sneaky, even numbers that have snuck into our group of numbers. You can circle or write the even numbers down that are hiding in the odd numbers. So pause the video now and see if you can find the numbers in there that are not odd, the ones that are even. Did you find them all? Brilliant. Let's see if you found all the even numbers that were hiding in our odd numbers. So what was the first one? The first even number was 10. Excellent, because we see this when we're counting in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Fantastic. The next number. 34 and the last one. 46 and as you can see all these numbers have a digit at the end that is an even number so 0, 4 and 6. Well done year 2. If you got all those right give yourself a fabulous tick. Excellent. Now today we're going to be focusing on subtracting two digit numbers. So to start off we're going to be using some base 10. Now the first job I need to do is to count how many I've got all together that I'm starting with. Can you pause the video and count in groups of tens and ones to see what number I am starting with? What number did you count? Excellent. Let's see if you're right. I'm going to start counting in tens. Ready? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Brilliant, you were right. So I can put that into my number sentence. I am starting with 27. And remember, when I'm taking away, we always start with the biggest number because I know my answer is going to get smaller. So today I'm going to subtract 11. And to make that nice and easy for me, I've partitioned it into tens and ones. And just like our column addition, I'm going to subtract my ones first. So I'm going to take one one away like this. Ready? 
fantastic so I can cross that out so I know it's gone away. How many tens do I need to subtract? That's right, I need to subtract one ten away and I can do that by crossing it out. So you can see I started with 27, I subtracted 11. Now let's count how many are left. I have one ten, so I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, oops, I missed a cube then. I'm sure you corrected me. Excellent. So 27 subtract 11 equals 16. Fabulous. That one was pretty straightforward, right? Now we're going to try one where we have to exchange 10 for our ones. Are you ready? Brilliant. So the first job, can you remember what I need to do first? I need to count the base 10 that is already there to see what number I'm starting with. Are you ready to count in tens and ones with me? Excellent. I've got 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. Excellent. So I know I've got 32 there. And remember, I've written that down because we don't hold any numbers in our head. So for my number sentence, I'm starting with 32. Let's see how many we're going to take away this time subtract 14 and just like when we're doing column ad addition and subtraction I'm going to partition with tens and ones on top to make it extra easier for myself. Okay so I need to take away 14 and we always start by subtracting the ones. Hmm do you notice a problem? That's right I need to take away four ones but I've only got two ones. Hmm can I do two? Take away four? No. So I need to exchange one ten for ten ones. So I'm going to take that ten away and I'm going to exchange it for ten ones. Just like we do in our column subtraction. Now can I take away four ones? Of course I can. Let's take away four together. So I'm going to cross and count. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent. How many ones are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight ones left. Then I need to subtract one ten and I can see how many I've got left all together. So I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Brilliant. Why not pause the video now and see if you can complete questions one and two. OK, so now we're going to look at using our column subtraction using digits and numbers. So the first job I need to do is to write the question 42 subtract 18 equals something. And for step number two, I'm going to put the tens and ones on top of my question to make it easy peasy for me to partition. So that for step number three, I can make the first number in tens and ones, easy peasy, four tens and two ones. For step number three, four, I need to do exactly the same for the number 18. Partition it underneath in tens and ones. OK, I need to start by subtracting the ones for step number five. And remember, we've got stars to give us helpful hints and tips. So I need to count backwards starting with the first number and I might need to exchange 10 if the numbers are too big. OK, let me think. So two in my head, subtract eight. Ready? Two, one, zero. Can't do it. The number eight is too big. So I need to exchange 10. So I'm going to take my four tens. I'm going to exchange one ten to make 12. So I've taken one ten away, so I don't have four tens anymore. I now have three, that's right. Now I can do 12 take away eight. So I have 12 in my head, eight fingers. Have you got your eight fingers ready to count backwards? Brilliant. Let's count together. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. 12 subtract 8 equals 4. And I can write that answer in my ones column. Now I'm going to subtract my tens. But remember, I've started with three tens. Subtract one. 
don't need fingers for that because one less than three is two. Brilliant. Why not pause the video here now and have a go at question three? Well done year two, you're working really hard on this. Now we're going to look at some reasoning and some problem solving. Okay, so I need to read the question and remember we always circle or underline important words in the text. Dexter has 33 bricks. Rosie has 19 bricks. How many bricks do Dexter and Rosie have together? So pause the video and see if you can find all the important words in our number sentences. Did you find them all? Let's check. So the question I need, Dexter, Dexter's number, Rosie's number, and I need to put them all together. So remember, if we're putting them all together, we need to add. Brilliant. So let's find Dexter's number. So Dexter has 33. So I can put that into my tens and ones column. Rosie has 19, so we can put that in. And remember, it was all together, so I know that I need to add. Brilliant, so we're going to need to use our practicing that we did yesterday. So I'm going to start with three add nine because we always add our ones first. We need three in our head, nine fingers. Ready? Three in our head, nine fingers. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Brilliant. Or when we're adding, we could have started with the biggest number first and put nine in our head and count on three. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I'm going to write twelve in my answer, but twelve has got a ten, so I need to put my ten under there to exchange for later and my two there, so I know I've made twelve. Now I can add my tens together, so I need three, add one more is four, brilliant. Add one more that we exchanged makes five. So my answer is 52. See if you can pause the video now and have a go at 4A on your own. Well done you two. Now we're going to look at question 4B together. So you can pause the video as we do this along together. So this question this time says, how many more bricks does Dexter have than Rosie? Hmm, what are the important words in that sentence? That's right, we need how many more? Dexter's number and Rosie's number. So we need Dexter's number is 33. Rosie's number is 19. So I'm going to start with Dexter's number and I need to know how many more that number is to Rosie's 19. Now this is where it gets a little bit challenging because the word more makes you think that we need to add them because it's going to get more and going to get bigger. But actually we want to see how many more it takes from 13 to 19. So to do that, we're going to actually subtract. So we're going to take them away. So if you need to pause now to get your tens and one ready and then see if you can subtract 33 subtract 19 all by yourself. Excellent. Let's see if you did that perfectly. So I need to do three take away nine. Three, three, two, one. No, can't do it because it's too big. So we need to exchange the 10 to make 13. And because I've taken one 10 away, I don't have three tens anymore. I have two. Did you remember to exchange two? Brilliant. And then I have 13 subtract nine. So 13 in my head, nine fingers. Ready to count with me? Perfect. 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. So I can put my four in my ones column. And then I've got two tens left to subtract one. Easy peasy, 110. So my answer is 14. Did you do it the same as me? Excellent, I knew you would. Well done, year two. Well done for today, year two. You've done absolutely brilliant subtracting using column subtraction and using our base 10. 
so so proud of you on the next slide we're going to see our answers to our sheets make sure that you tick them and if you do make any errors don't worry remember errors just mean that they're that we're learning so that's brilliant just make sure you take the time to check all of them and know how how to learn from it for next time so make sure you pause the video and check your work once you've done that, don't forget to upload a photo or a video of your fantastic learning onto Seesaw so it can be part of your maths learning journey. I'll see you tomorrow for our next math lesson.